Oh, the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you, ESPN. Oh, they're so fun. They just hate Buffalo. Just so much. Somebody got beat up for their wings in Buffalo sometime. And they just like them. Probably because Berman loved them so much. Man. Look at where they're located, man. They're in the heart of Patriot country. Like, I remember I ESPN went to Connecticut. Studios, yeah. yeah, I went to Connecticut. Um, there's, you know, I went out there to see somebody and I drove by ESPN Studios because that was always a dream of mine to work for ESPN. Thank God I never went that direction. Oh, man, I would hate myself. It's their coverage since their heyday is just kills me inside. Kills me inside. But Chris Sims ranked his top 40 quarterback. So I think we should play uh, a little bit of uh, over under, right, to try and figure out where on the Chris list Sims ranks. Right. Yeah, Chris Sims. Didn't we already talk about Dan Orlovsky talking about the Bills quarterback? Yeah. You know? Yep. Chris Apparently Sims. that's what you do when you're a backup quarterback for your wife. You just go work for ESPN. And then, then dump on all the quarterbacks. I wonder who he put as last. Oh, I'll tell you that one. That's Tua. You put Tua last? Tua's last. Which is fascinating because all his cohorts put Tua ahead of Allen in the AFC East. So that's kind of fascinating. I'm just saying that he's hating on lefties like that. <laughs> There's not many. You would think, <laughs> you'd think that he, yeah. A lot of, a lot of pack up. Who's 39, better. Vic? <laughs> Tim Tebow. <laughs> no, that did not soil this car. You soiled my car last week with no, Ramon Humber. You, did you see somebody in the comments section say do not, do not, do not besmirch the legend of Razor Ramon That is, I really... <laughs> Let's play a little over under. Alan is on this list, right? I'm not going to tell you where. Top 40, I hope he's on. He is in top 40. Um, so just uh, give me a number, and I'll tell you who the quarterback is, and you have to try and figure it, figure out where Allen is in this, right? Look at the quarterbacks. You know, if you guess ten, look at that, and try and figure out where you know is he better than the better than that player or the player just ahead of him. So let's see if we can if we can figure it out. Twenty-two, Daniel Jones, quarterback for the New York Giants. I think he's higher than. That's probably not a bad idea. Okay. That, I like that theory. Daniel Jones at 22, the bottom third. I could see that. That makes sense. I mean, he's going to have a right. – He's going to have uh, – An abysmal year. Let's <laughs> just be real about I it. Was, right? I, when you have Barkley, it's kind of hard. Right, but it's also probably not a bad idea to fish down low and see really what's there, right? Because you, yeah. you hit Daniel Jones, and I kind of put Daniel Jones in the basement of quarter – I wouldn't even rank him high as 22. Well, I think, so I think 22 is actually a little high for Here's the deal, I think, about not just specifically Daniel Jones, but any quarterback where the quarterback is not the best offensive player on the offense, mm -hmm. um, I think you can't have that in the top 15, in the top half, top 16. Okay. I mean, does it make sense? The nation, does this make sense? You can't, if you're not the best, if you're not the best offensive player on your team at the quarterback position, then you shouldn't be in the top half of the league. Right. Because yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, most most offenses that are struggling to find a quarterback often have just a guy, right? Yeah. He's got experience. He can keep himself upright enough. He keeps the, the ball moving downfield. But the offenses that are truly dynamic, their their best weapon is. But I think that the exception to that, by ESPN, not by my standards, by ESPN would probably be the Cowboys, because they because okay. Elliott is clear, but they probably have Prescott in the top fifteen. That's, that's okay. I'm, very, I'm, I'm okay. guessing. I'm very, I'm very interested to see how you work your way through this list because oh I don't want you guessing only above 22. Now you should see what's in the bottom of the. You should, you should dredge the lake and see what's really there well, because it four, is the, ESPN's right. Okay, well, we'll just we'll dance with this then. There's 32 teams in the league. Who's 32nd? This is weird. Case Keenum. So backups. A backup is ahead of a starter right now. Because Case Keenum's not a starter. He is not. No. So if he's not a starter, backup Case Keenum is ahead of a starter. There are two. I, I, I would two call. Two is one of them. Well, two is one of them, well, right? It, it, so it, it, well, he's, he's not really a starter. There are, th I from where, uh, from where 
Uh, you just said, what What did you just say, 32? 32, yeah. So from 33 to 40, I would say there's as many as three starting, three to four starting quarterbacks. You say three to four, meaning they're rookies. Well, I mean, two is included in that. So, yeah, two, okay. Yeah. But there, there are starting quarterbacks below 32. Okay, uh, 32 was King. Wow, I can't believe Case Keenum. If I was to pick a backup that would be over a starter, it would not be Case Keenum. I'm just putting it out. Yep, okay. I understand. All right, so uh, I'm going to go with my favorite number. Yeah. 19. Ooh. Derek Carr. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Derek Carr? Yeah, I know. I know Rock Pile Report's going to be really disappointed because Derek Carr, they've been screaming for years that he's a well, well, maybe that's Chris. I think Chris that's fell off that way. That's not true. Ago. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe. Wow, Derek Carr. Derek Carr is 19. Interesting. Yep. Derek Carr is 19. Which, I mean... He's, Can you compare Allen to Carr? I think is a fair conversation. Hmm. I, I think Carr is a better passer than Allen, right? But Allen is a much more dynamic weapon. He's much, yeah, yep. So in that respect, there is infrastructure around Allen that's not around. Oh, Carr. without a doubt. Yeah, without um, a doubt. A lot of turnover, moving to a new city. There's a bunch of different things that Carr has to deal with this year that Allen does not. Right. So agreed. In that respect, I would I would think Allen is higher than that as well. I think that's I think that's fair. Okay. Okay. I mean, since he broke his leg, he has been the same. I yeah, very much. Carr really very has much so. Although I like Carr. I don't I mean, like wouldn't him that you much. be gun shy behind that line? I would. <laughs> I, but, but that line is not horrendous. I it's like being in a haunted is. house. <laughs> You're just walking through. I gotta use a stone cold quote. What? For Derek Carr. <clears throat> There's a documentary Stone Cold like his favorite line behind the scenes was I like it not very much but I like it <laughs> that's how I feel about Derek Carr okay <laughs> so so far we've got uh, Daniel Jones at 22 Case Keenum at 32 and Derek Carr at 19 okay I'll go and so far you feel Allen is better than all three of those options yes okay yes but right. I'm going to I'm going to retract I'm going to go down 26 26 Joe Burrow Joe Burrow. So right now they think Daniel Jones is better than Joe Burrow simply yes. from experience. They think Carr is better than him. Right. But they don't feel that Joe Burrow – they feel uh, Case Cam is six slots lower than Joe Burrow. Which I, I mean, if you put Case Keenum and started him for the exact same team as Joe Burrow, I think they do – I think Keenum would be better than Burrow. Really? Yeah, I think so. I'm not just, a big just from Joe Burrow guy. Just yeah, from exactly. That rookie season's going to be rough. Well, Keenum did do well with Diggs and uh, Thielen and Rudolph. Sure did. Probably on par with the $86 million man. Uh, Where's he? Where's Cousins? Kirk Cousins? Just give me his number. I don't even know where he is. Kirk Cousins is 13. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're expecting like 29th, right? Are they going on salaries? Yeah. <laughs> Kirk Cousins is 13th. 13. 13th. 13. So we go back to the thing I just said. He's not the best player on that offense. No, he's not. I but agree with that. he is in the top 15. He's in the top 15. So, this is what so, you were waiting so for. So again, <laughs> is Allen above or below Kirk Cousins in your opinion? I think you run into the same argument as Burrow and, Ke and Keenan, uh, Case Keenan. Where one guy has played a okay. significant amount, and one guy hasn't, even though Allen has, right. to a different degree. Cousins has played and done well and been successful in the league. Mm -hmm. I could see why he would be in the top 20. I don't know about top 15. Right. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah. So I think he's better. Okay. Than, I love that. Let's go. Okay. Where Allen was drafted, mm -hmm. seventh. Yeah. Who's seventh? Right. Matt Ryan is seventh. Okay, Matty Ice. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't dump on Matt Ryan. I like Matt Ryan a lot. I don't think he is your best offensive player. To your point that you had made Julio. before, Julio is clearly still. the best offensive player on that team still. But I think uh, you know, Matty Matty Ice would have been a very good quarterback on nearly any team. In the I NFL. believe that. So I Boston College. He had a number of starts at Boston College. Yeah, heck of a player. He's been surrounded yeah. by. Different talent, it still has put up numbers. You know, he's kind of like the NFC version of Phillip Rivers. Right. I look at I look so. at when Shanahan left. Matt Ryan's production obviously dropped because the easy receptions to the running backs were gone. Mm -hmm. But even so, he was still able to be a threat. 
Yes. You know, yeah. so I, I like He's just I a like solid, Matty. to me, he's yeah. a solid quarterback. Right. I mean. Right. Yeah. I, I like Matty Ice a lot. Like, in, in two Eisenhower years, Eisenhower. in two years, if Buffalo signed him as a backup, I'd be thrilled. Because, I mean, the truth really speaking, let's be real. In two years, he's going to be back. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Atlanta's got to hit the reset button. Do you put earlier. Ryan, Rivers, guys like that in the same category? Like I do, yeah. Productive players, but they just win. can't. Yeah, they just can't seal the deal. Yeah, I do. Uh, number five. Ooh. Lamar Jackson. Five? Mm-hmm. Five. Mm-hmm. Number five, Lamar Jackson. Okay, so is Allen better than Jackson? Better thrower? <laughs> Well, a lot of I people mean, will debate that. We could do a whole episode about Allen versus Jackson. Could. Maybe we should. Maybe that'll be another episode. Title of Allen Jackson? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Number five. Wow. I'm trying to think of four quarterbacks better than than the reigning MVP. Mm-hmm. That's – he is so – I mean, people will harp on his throwing, throwing outside the numbers, and that was figured out in the playoffs. And I understand that playoffs, everything gets ramped right. up. But you want to talk about – just a threat sure. at the quarterback position right. never seen before other than Vic. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, Vic, Vic was a what? Vic I mean, could flick his wrist and throw yeah, seven. Vic had a cannon. That's stupid. He had a cannon. Um, but, and, and honestly, the fact that Vic was left-handed made him even more dangerous. I did. Right? He yeah, had I know, different I know, angles he threw the Right, ball exactly. It's, I know that's a little thing, and people are going to say, well, what, Paul, come on, what do you care whether he's right-handed or left-handed? It does matter. It does make a difference. Sure. Um, oh, number five. Yeah, Lamar Jackson's number five. So are you putting Allen around Jackson? I like – I think that uh, – because the offense – it's almost like comparing apples and oranges. The offense yeah. is that the two guys run are completely different. Right. Ja- the, the, the offense was built around Jackson's strengths. Right. The offense for Allen was not. I agree wholeheartedly with you. So Wholeheartedly agree. Do I but think Allen that- is better? Yes. However – it's the proof's in the pudding. You're talking about the reigning MVP. Right. Yeah, I feel you there. I, the one counterpoint that I have is with Jackson, I feel you're very limited as an offense, right? He hasn't shown you that he can do everything, right? Allen has shown you at times that he can do nearly anything you ask him. It's very sporadic, yes. But, again, it, the consistency is a little bit of an issue. You yes. don't exactly know what his responsibilities truly are because – the offense seems to have a governor on it for whatever reason. But, that's a great. That's a great. Well, but the the truth is, with with Jackson, they're pulling out all the stops at all times because they really can't push the ball downfield. They they have to move mm-hmm. the ball. On the mm-hmm. So and they did. They, they they're they're succumbing to a formula that's very common now in the NFL, where you get your quarterback, you build up around him until it's time right. to pay him. And the truth, truthfully speaking, if if you were to be, if you were able to take film and just completely blank out the uniforms, blank out the helmets, and you put on uh, a Navy college football game for me and said, "That's Lamar Jackson at quarterback," I believe you, because that's the <laughs> offense they run. They just went and said, "Let's just run what Navy runs." <laughs> Ta-da! It worked. All right, so I'm going to give you two more guesses to find quarterbacks on the list, and then you got to tell me where you think Allen is. Give me a number where you think Allen is. I'll give you a cursed number in Buffalo. Oh. 11. I was worried you were going to guess this one. It's Allen? Not. What? Who is it? Ryan Tannehill. 11? <laughs> Ryan Tannehill. 11. It's 11. Are they saying, like, <laughs> at Texas Tech as a receiver? Like, <laughs> What did he? I don't. I don't know. Wait, wait. Who was thirteen cousins? The cousins was thirteen. <laughs> I said it was eleven. So what let's, the? Let's just break it down. Chris, what's wrong with you? Lamar Jackson's at five. He got sacked a lot in his, in his college career. Uh, Lamar Jackson's at five. Tannehill's at eleven. Cousins is at thirteen. Derek Carr is at nineteen. Daniel Jones is at twenty-two. Joe Burrow is at twenty-six. Case Keenum is at thirty-two. And, jo- and two is at four. And two is at four. Wow. Wow. So, I was gonna say I was gonna take a different direction. I was gonna say I bet you I can guess the top four. Oh, okay. Well, all right, we'll get to that. Okay. All right. Wow, Tannehill at eleven. Well, I Tannehill think Tannehill eleven. Do we even need to he's talk got, about that? He's got to be top ten. Allen has to be top ten. Okay. He has. All right. To. I, I I I I would go along a similar thought process about him. Seven was Matt Ryan. Yep. Oh, eleven about is it. Tannehill. Yeah. He's got to be eight, nine, or ten. He's got, this, okay. 
So we're playing Battleship. I'm going to okay. sink this bad boy. Okay, let's, let's talk. All right, so you think he's 8, 9, or 10. you got you got to give me an answer. 9. 9 is your final answer. 9 is my final answer. It's so amazing you guessed 9 because this is one of your favorite quarterbacks in the whole league. You love Breeze? this quarterback. It's not Breeze. Wilson? Stafford. Stafford? Stafford's 9. You love Matt Stafford. I don't, I don't put Ryan ahead of Stafford. I, I agree with you. <laughs> oh my god! I agree with you. So yeah, Matt, yeah, nine. number nine is Matt Stafford. He's got to be eight. <laughs> eight is Dak Prescott. <laughs> oh my god! This list sucks. <laughs> do I know who ten is? I don't know if it's I do. Not Josh Allen. <laughs> I know. Here we go. Cam Newton. Cam, he's got a job. <laughs> <laughs> How is <does> Cam? It's <laughs> terrible, isn't it? Who's six, Montana? <laughs> What's going on in this place? Right, so, Mister, I'm pretty confident I can give you the top four. Oh my give, god! Give me the top four. I don't know now. Sheesh. Give me the top four. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Top four. Mahomes. Yep, that's one. Wilson. Two. Rogers. Three. And Breeze. No. Don't even tell me it's Brady at four. No. Okay. Who's four? Deshaun Watson is that? Okay. I. So top okay. five are Mahomes, Wilson, Rogers, Watson, and Lamar Jackson. Are you ready for where Allen is? He's 21. He's 18. 18. 18. Quarterbacks ranked ahead of Josh Allen on this list. And I quote, I just gave you the top five. Carson Wentz at six, Matt Ryan at seven, Prescott at eight, Stafford at nine, a unemployed Cam Newton. Well, you make more money on unemployment now anyway. Um... <laughs> 11 at Tannehill, Kyler Murray at 12, well, that does. Cousins at 13, Roethlisberger at 14, Brady at 15, Breeze at 16, Rivers at 17, Allen at 18. No freaking way. You're telling me that this list is comprised of an unemployed quarterback in the top 10? Yep. Sure and is. a reigning MVP is number five. Yep, sure is. And Roethlisberger who hasn't played in two years <laughs> since Duck Dynasty was out. <laughs> oh my god! He's at fourteen. Yeah. Do do people really not have anything to talk about? I I no, I don't understand. Like I just I don't understand. When I saw the list, I was like, oh, oh, what could we do with what could we do with this mess? Wow. Because I mean, truthfully speaking, you want to talk who's better. Watson or Allen, I think I think there's a discussion there. Watson or Allen, I yes. really do. But Watson's four, Lamar Jackson's five. How in the world do you put who's, who's one? Mahomes. Mahomes is one. Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey. Who's number two? Wilson. Wilson. He just uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Three. Rogers. Rogers. Yeah. It's, it's just the, yeah. You can make anybody. Good. You you you're talking about the one of the greatest right. ever. Four is Watson, Watson and Hopkins. Had. 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 Yeah. Five was uh, Jackson. Jackson, who's just the reigning MVP. All those guys, with the exception of, well, Wilson was never MVP, but he's just so dynamic. And all those guys are MVP. Mahomes, Rodgers, not Watson. No, not Watson. <clears throat> but what? you can you can easily compare Watson and Allen. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I, th I think there's an argument to be made between Watson and Allen. Yeah, but there shouldn't be 14 spots in between. I agree. Uh, Carson Wentz being in the top ten, I debate as well because you got to be healthy. You got to be healthy. I love how someone released it right after the draft. They said the official Philadelphia Eagles depth chart is Wentz hurts. <laughs> so remember we talked about Case Keenum. Yes. Right. You want to know who the bottom of this list is? First off, there's three quarterbacks from <laughs> there's three quarterbacks from the Saints on this list. <laughs> So you have Breeze at 16. Ted, Bridgewater, and Hill? Well, Bridgewater is now with the Panthers. He's at 29. Mm -mm. Bridgewater's ranked 29. Uh, so, Case Keenum at 32. Jameis Winston at 33. Tyrod Taylor at 34. Jarrett Stidham at 35. Tameson Hill at 36. Justin Herbert at 37. Mitchie Biscuits at 38. He's a starter. Dwayne Haskins at 39. Starter. Starter. Wow. And two at 40. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is and, – and Darnold's at 23. I don't know how you can rank Darnold that low compared to 
I, really anything. Like, I, I, I know it's been a rough go for him, but I don't think that there should be. You put, I don't you're, think. You're saying Daniel think, Jones is the greatest quarterback in New Jersey? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, what do, what do we, how do we wrap this up with Chris Sims? I think that, can we just chuckle for a second that Chris Sims' show is called Unbuttoned? Shouldn't it be called unhinged? I think they should extend the drug testing <laughs> to ESPN Studios. It's like they just threw darts at a wall. It's, he picked it out of a hat. It's a Sims. You would have missed the board. Never mind. <laughs> and there we go.